UFC lightweight champion Conor McGregor is preparing for the biggest fight in combat sports history as he'll take on undefeated boxer Floyd Mayweather. To no one's surprise, McGregor is quite confident in his abilities. Will McGregor pull off another stunning upset? Well, here's 10 different ways Conor McGregor can beat one of boxing's greats. For this list, we'll take a look at some of McGregor's strengths as well as weaknesses Mayweather possesses that could be exposed. Number 10. McGregor's Unpredictability Conor McGregor has a unique advantage over Floyd Mayweather that some are calling a disadvantage. This is, of course, McGregor's experience in professional boxing. So why does this give the Irishman an advantage? Well, boxing is known for being a sport of pattern, meaning that oftentimes boxers can assume a punch that's coming next based on the combination that is being thrown. For McGregor though, he won't have that pattern embedded in his muscle memory, making him just that much more unpredictable for Mayweather. Having his punches come from timings and angles that Mayweather isn't accustomed to may just be enough to throw off Mayweather's rhythm just in time for McGregor to crack him with a big shot. Number 9. Mayweather's Lack of Offense Despite his inexperience in boxing, Conor McGregor may very well be the aggressor during practically the entire bout due to Mayweather's style. This necessarily doesn't guarantee a win for the Irishman, but it will certainly play in his favor. McGregor is also a great counter-striker, which he can rely on should money decide to come out swinging. Many can assume that McGregor will march forward and throw heavy shots early, but many question if he can actually land. Well, with Mayweather's style we're largely relying on countering and slipping punches, the odds seems to play in McGregor's favor to crack the undefeated boxer's chin, ending his 49-0 reign. Number 8. Unorthodox Boxing Many people are calling on McGregor to make this an ugly fight in order for him to win, which very well may be the case. At this point, we know it's highly unlikely that Conor will outbox Floyd, but if McGregor's able to make the fight as foreign from a boxing match as possible, his odds of winning severely increase. In order to do this though, he'll need to establish and dominate range early on in the fight. Once he's done that, McGregor needs to do everything in his power to make it an ugly fight. A lot of dirty boxing, clinching, tying hands, etc. need to be done to Floyd to disrupt any rhythm he may produce throughout the bout. If successful, any punch landed in close from McGregor could be enough to shut out Mayweather's lights. Number 7. McGregor's Speed Conor McGregor possesses some of the fastest hands in MMA, despite many boxing experts calling him slow. Despite Mayweather having tremendous hand speed as well, he does sit at the ripe age of 40. It isn't necessarily about McGregor landing the quicker punch, but rather many elements of McGregor's speed combined. Thrown in with his timing and footwork, McGregor could be a serious disaster to Mayweather's flawless record. McGregor once stated after knocking out previous pound for pound number one in MMA Jose Aldo, precision beats power and timing beats speed. This may just be the perfect recipe for McGregor's victory yet again when he faces Mayweather. If Connor is able to pick his power shots correctly at the right time, I just don't see how the 40 year old Mayweather could take many if one of Mystic Max bombs. But precision beats power and timing beats speed and that's what you saw there. Number 6. Mayweather's Pacing As previously mentioned, boxing has a real specific science behind it. While MMA does follow patterns as well, there's a lot more variety to them. For Floyd, his usual pace in his bouts will surely be tested with McGregor and most likely compromised. MMA fighters such as McGregor can accelerate from a slow, methodical pace to throwing wild combinations of all sorts. While the same can be said about boxing to some degree, it will be harder for Mayweather to adapt to a pace rather than McGregor. How will this help Connor win? 
Well, just with anything else, controlling the pace will be huge for McGregor. He'll be able to easily throw off Mayweather's timings and angles, which at any given time could spell the end of Mayweather's undefeated run and having McGregor pull off the greatest victory in combat sports history. Number 5. McGregor's Size Advantage McGregor's coming into this fight the longer and physically better fighter, which would be an advantage in the corner of the Pride of Ireland. To be specific, McGregor will have a 2 inch reach advantage, will be an inch taller, and probably be about 15 to 20 pounds heavier once in the ring with Mayweather. The notable size advantage will be able to give McGregor a bit of ease when it comes to dominating the distance, something he is nearly flawless at doing. Imposing his distinct size advantage early may just be enough for McGregor to overwhelm Mayweather and give him the chance to put him away. Number 4. McGregor's Stance McGregor is known to fight long and rangy in just about every MMA fight he has competed in, and I don't see it being different when it comes to his professional boxing debut. His karate-based style has given him tremendous success inside the octagon as he is practically impeccable when it comes to controlling the range. If Connor is able to establish his range first and have Mayweather's back facing the ropes, Mayweather is in for a cruel night. McGregor will need to be able to cut off all of Floyd's angles in order to capitalize on landing a big shot, which will be much more difficult than it sounds. However, if McGregor is successful, the undefeated boxer may just be minutes away from having his first taste of defeat. Number 3. McGregor's Footwork Footwork is a major key in practically any sport, but especially when it comes to combat sports such as boxing or MMA. For this bout, the footwork advantage has to go to the mixed martial artist. McGregor's style plays right into his footwork, allowing him to be light on his feet while creating angles for his unorthodox strikes. More importantly, however, McGregor puts about 80% of his pressure on his back foot while throwing that infamous left hand, making his ability to be so quick and fluid in his movements truly exceptional when you consider just how quickly he is able to transfer his weight to land the big shots. Also, the way he moves as an MMA fighter will also counteract Mayweather's timings as it'll be harder to see just exactly where McGregor will be throwing his punches from. Number 2. Mental Warfare One of McGregor's keys to victory doesn't involve his movement, stances, punches, or anything but his mouth. Getting into the head of his opponents is something McGregor has done for years and is notorious for doing so. In fact, it's been the leeway to many of his larger victories in his career. We've seen him verbally destroy just about each and every one of his opponents in recent memory. When McGregor did his world tour with Jose Aldo, it had already seemed to many that the Brazilian had succumbed to the piercing words of McGregor, already showing signs that the fight was over before it started. And the same case can be made here in the Floyd Mayweather fight. Although, the world tour didn't show too much psychological damage to Mayweather, who will be a bit harder to crack as he is 49-0 in his respected sport and is yet to really smell defeat in any of his fights. However, as the fight draws nearer, don't be surprised to see McGregor get Mayweather emotional, having him play right into Connor's plan during the fight. Number 1. McGregor's Left Hand 
Known as the Celtic Cross, McGregor's most frightening blow has to be the stacks of TNT he carries in his left hand. Many of his opponents have fallen victim to this devastating strike, including the likes of Chad Mendez and Jose Aldo. His left hand is so powerful in fact we've seen it drop fighters while their guard was up, such as in the Dennis Silver fight. His hand speed is tremendous as well, making it that much easier for McGregor to contact with his rangy left. If McGregor is able to land this infamous punch at any point throughout the fight fully extended, it could be lights out for Mayweather at any moment in their bout. That's it for this list. Who do you think will win the Mayweather-McGregor fight of the century? Be sure to let us know in the comments.